What's up, thinkers? Today we're diving into one of the strangest findings in quantum physics. The quantum Zeno effect. Strap in, because this is about to get weird. Ever felt like someone was staring at you and you just froze? Well, on the quantum level, this happens literally. Observing a particle can stop it dead in its tracks. Trippy, right? The quantum world plays by totally different rules. Let me break it down for you with an analogy. Imagine you have a radioactive material that spits out particles over time. It's like a leaky faucet dripping particles every few seconds. Drip, drip, drip. If we graph the rate, it looks like a steady downward slope. But if we constantly check in on it, by observing it, it's like we're suddenly staring at that leaky faucet intensely. And what happens when you stare at it, waiting for the next drip? It freezes. No more drips while we stare. In the quantum world, constant observation can essentially paralyze a particle, stopping it from decaying or changing state. This freeze effect was named after an ancient Greek philosopher, Zeno, who had his own thought experiments about motion and change. Zeno argued that in order to get from point A to B, you first have to cover half the distance. And to cover that half, you first have to cover a quarter. And before that, an eighth, and so on. Ultimately requiring an infinite number of steps to move it all. Now Zeno was using this paradox to argue against motion itself. But little did he know, in the quantum realm, constant observation really can freeze things in their tracks. So how does this quantum Zeno effect actually work? What is so special about observation? To understand, we have to talk about the double slit experiment. And if you want to see me cover that from start to finish, definitely check out my quantum physics playlist. But in a nutshell, when we don't observe photons going through two slits, they act like waves and produce this interference pattern of many stripes on the wall behind. But if we measure and observe which slit each photon goes through, the pattern disappears. Somehow, the act of observation forces the photon to make a definite choice, one slit or the other. Observation collapses the quantum probability wave into a single reality. Back to our radioactive particles. When left alone, each has some probability of decaying at any moment. This probability wave allows it to essentially explore many decay paths over time. But constant observation collapses this wave. It forces the particle into a single path where it doesn't decay yet. The more we observe, the more paths where it decays early are excluded, increasing the probability that it survives. This is the quantum Zeno effect. Rapid measurements jam a particle into following one consistent path while observation is on. Its evolution gets temporarily frozen by the act of witnessing. Now you might be wondering, can't we just constantly observe particles and stop them from ever decaying? Prevent waste from nuclear reactions? Stop food from spoiling? Well, here's the catch. Unfortunately, the observer effect has been rather tiny in experiments so far, only slowing decay by like 0.3%. To get huge freeze effects seems to require manipulating quantum uncertainty itself in carefully designed setups. But some scientists think biological systems might harness quantum Zeno effects for useful work. For example, there is speculation that enzymes may use rapid vibration to constrain electron positions temporarily preventing unwanted chemical reactions. And researchers are working on engineering more robust freeze effects by pulsing particles with laser beams, potentially allowing better control of chemical reactions or keeping qubits intact in quantum computers. The deeper implications here are mind-bending. In quantum physics, observation is not a passive act. The observer plays an active role in what they witness, collapsing global possibilities into one choice. This suggests a kind of interactive reality, with acts of observation actively creating outcomes. As John Wheeler famously put it, no phenomenon is a real phenomenon until it is an observed phenomenon. And it raises profound questions about the origins of our perceived reality. If observation plays a role at the quantum scale, is our macroscopic world fundamentally constructed when organisms like us come on the scene? Does the metaphorical sound a tree makes when falling with no one around to hear it ever really make a sound at all? Are we, merely by existing as observers, collapsing infinities of quantum possibilities that would otherwise hang in limbo? All right, that's all I've got for you today on this fascinating quantum effect. Let me know what other quantum topics you want me to cover. And don't forget to like and subscribe so the algorithm sends more weird physics your way. Until next time, stay curious.